function machines. The learning objective of this nugget is to use function machines to find inputs and outputs. Our keywords, function machine, a machine that takes an input, applies a rule and delivers an output, and the inverse operation, the operation that reverses the effect of another operation. Recap. 13 plus 2 equals 15. We can use the inverse operation to say 15 take away 2 equals 13. Adding and taking away are inverse operations. Three times five equals 15. We can use the inverse operation to say 15 divided by five equals three. Multiplying and dividing are inverse operations. Find the output of these function machines. Two plus 17 equals 19. Seven times five equals 35. 23 take away 10 equals 13. This function machine has two, so we have to be extra careful. 21 divided by seven is three. Three plus 11 is 14. Your turn. Find the output of these function machines. Pause the video now. Let's check your answers. Four plus nine is 13. 72 divided by nine is eight. 16 times 10 is 160. And 22 plus 8 is 30. 30 divided by 2 is 15. For this question, we need to find the input of these function machines. Here, we need to use the inverse operations. So something take away 14 equals 5. If we have the five going in backwards, we need to use the inverse of taking away 14, which is adding 14. Five add 14 is 19. So 19 take away 14 is five, and we've found the input of this function machine. Question two, something times seven equals 28. If we have the 28 going in backwards, we need to do the inverse operation of timesing by seven, which is dividing by seven. 28 divided by seven is four. So to check our answers, four times seven is 28. Something divided by three is six. If the six goes in backwards, we need to use the inverse operation of dividing by three, which is multiplying by three. Six multiplied by three is 18. So to check our answer, 18 divided by three is six. Here we have a double function machine, so again we have to be extra careful. We start at the 20 and go backwards. So 20 and we need to do the inverse of timesing by 4, which is divide by 4. 20 divided by 4 is 5. Again, the 5 needs to go backwards through this second function machine. So the inverse of taking away three is adding three. Five, add three, 
is 8. We can check our answer. 8, take away 3, is in fact 5. And 5 times 4 is 20. So we know we've got this answer right. Your turn. Find the input of these function machines. Pause your video now. Question 1. Something plus 9 is 17. The 17 goes backwards and we need to take away 9 from it. And we find the input must be 8. Question 2. 8 goes in backwards and does the inverse of dividing by 11, which is multiplying by 11. So we multiply 8 by 11 and we get the answer or the input of this function machine, which is 88. Question 3. 132 goes in backwards and we need to do the inverse of multiplying by 12, which is dividing by 12. 132 divided by 12 is 11. And for our final one, we need to do 14 goes in backwards and the inverse of taking away 21 is adding 21. 14 add 21 is 35. 35 again goes backwards through the multiply by 7 function machine. The inverse of multiplying by 7 is dividing by 7. 35 divided by 7 is 5. Remember, you should use the inverse operation when working backwards to solve an equation. You can check your answers by using substitution to swap your values back into the equation.